everybody, welcome back to Blackheart Productions. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Blackheart Productions. What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Blackheart Productions. What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Blackheart Productions, and today we are going to talk about my first project I released on this channel. Friday the 13th, The Legend of Jason Voorhees. I know I already made a two-part video on explaining the story itself, but that was kind of like a review, like how me and Fern do like a scene-by-scene -scene breakdown review. Today, I just want to talk about why I really wrote the story, I guess you could say. I can tell you one of the reasons I wrote it is because... For one, I am so sick of seeing absolutely no Jason Voorhees anywhere in the media whatsoever. So, like, I don't know. I'm big on reading. I love comic books. I love books. And, obviously, I like to write my own stories. And one thing that Tarantino always said was, write something that you want to see. So, I wanted to see a new Jason. And... I know we're all burnt out on origin stories with everything from Batman to Michael to Jason. And, you know, um, that's why I kept this one really short. I didn't want to dive too much into the origin of the Friday the 13th because we all know that story. We don't need to be told. Uh, we don't need it to be told to us a thousand different times. So. I did give a little bit of the origin though, and doing that just kind of paints a background picture, of course. But it's just because I made this story so short is because I have so many other plans that I want to do with my Jason in particular. Um, I have a lot of ideas, and uh, they're all going to pertain to the movies. Um, not quite. I'm not going to quite copy everything from the movies, but. For example, I do want there to be an aspect of a copycat at some point. He won't be the whole um, antagonist of a whole story like Part 5 was. I do want Jason to end up in Manhattan. And maybe not even Manhattan, you know. It could be like Chicago or L.A. or something. Like Even the unwritten Jason uh, scripts had him fighting gangs in L.A. You know, just stuff like that. Um, but we have to write... Well... I don't want to say we have to. I just felt I, for those um, for those who don't really know the Friday the 13th story that well, because not everyone does, um, I just wanted to give like a brief introduction short story, I guess. And um, I know it wasn't the greatest story, um, and I never intended it to be, and uh, I never really intend any of my stories to be the greatest stories. I just want them to be impactful, I guess. I want them to I want them to make you fall in love with horror. And uh, I know this story wasn't scary. Um and it's a horror story, but it's a Jason story, you know. I just tried like I said, it was just a basically a brief introduction to the character himself so I can take you on this journey with him to wherever we want to go and that can include battling freddy um i've even thought of the possibilities of throwing like michael in the story or you know something weird out of the box stuff like that but um when it comes to the characters i guess we could talk about the characters when i had first uh the, i've written like two other legend of jason Voorhees versions um like two three years ago before I wrote this final version. And those versions did not include a Tommy Jarvis. And um, I don't. I think the reason I incorporated him is because he's. Tommy is almost like the Laurie Strode to Michael in a way. Some, sometimes. So I wanted to incorporate that in the story. And I wanted Jason to have a, a Batman to his Joker, I guess, you know. And. Tommy Jarvis really is the best candidate for that. Um, I guess I could have made up my own character, but I like Tommy Jarvis, and I think I think he was not done enough justice in the films. Um, you know, we don't even get to see what happened to Tommy after Part Six. So maybe I'll tell you what fucking happened to Tommy after after Part 
three or part two, you know, who knows? Um, I, yeah, so with the characters, there's Derek Jarvis too. He's kind of the main character in this story. Um, spoiler alert, he does get killed at the end by Jason and, um, Tommy, um, will be the main protagonist in Friday the 13th part two, which I have not officially titled yet. And, um, by the way, all this is just fan, this is just fan fiction. I'm not doing this to make any money or nothing, just to put that out there. This is all just cause I'm a nerd and I love horror and I love to write and I want to write stuff that I want to see. So by no means am I trying to profit off of this. I'm just doing it for fun and entertainment. Um, but you know, with the character situation, I think Derek and Tommy were a good choice. I even threw Crazy Ralph in there for a few minutes um, of the f- few minutes in one of the first scenes. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the teenage characters, I kind of made them just, you know, to your typical Friday, Friday the 13th teenagers that just get butchered by Jason. That's what they're there for. So we don't need to throw all this extra seasoning on the characters because they're just going to get butchered. It doesn't really matter. Personally, that's how I see it. Now, in other stories you're going to see, I'm not going to be so lazy on the character writing. I'm going to, there's going to be more to people. Um, Like this story I'm working on now, The Dead Beneath, I made an announcement video. You can go check that out on my channel. It's called The Dead Beneath Announcement. It's about... um, well, it's a short story by me, and it's an original, um, and it's about three people who basically just find themselves in a really dangerous, evil cave, and um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with this, <laughs> but yeah, basically what I'm saying is um, I wanted to write the Friday story just because... Jason has been absent for so long. We've been ha- we've gotten a new Hellraiser. We've gotten all new Michael Myers movies. We've got new Leatherface. We get a new Jigsaw movie every two years, but we never get Jason or Freddy. But I'm more of a fan of Jason, so that's why I wrote Jason. Uh, maybe one day I'll write my own Nightmare on Elm Street, but I don't know if I know the mythology well enough to do that. But Friday the Thirteenth, I do. You know, I could say I'm 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 proud of the Friday story that I wrote. Like I said, it's I know it's not the best by any means at all, but I'm really excited to see where my Jason is gonna go. Um, but you know, I just wanted to kind of explain it a little more to you guys. I know, like I said, I did a two part video a while back explaining like scene by scene, breaking down the story, but um. Yeah, you know, I just wrote it because I wanted to write something that I knew really well and something that I could hit brutally with. And I feel like I did really well with some of the kills in there. There, um, you know, some of them were off screen or off, you know, off, off, not off screen, off of, you, you know, book. However, you say off screen in a fucking novel, that's what it was. Um, some of them were simple, just like a throat getting slit, whatever, but. There was some deaths in that book that I wrote that were fucking crazy. Um, And I'm not going to spoil it for you. So make sure you go check out Friday the 13th, The Legend of Jason Voorhees. um, Written and narrated and edited all by me. Um, My next story, I probably will not narrate just because I feel my narrating voice is not that good. And I feel like more people will listen to my story if someone with a less monotone voice will read it for me. Um, But thank you guys for tuning in. I think that wraps it up for today. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the Friday story. Um, I think we're going to do some film franchise rankings soon. Um, Maybe some trailer reactions. There's a lot of new stuff coming out. So yeah, stay tuned for all that. Make sure to go check out Fern Fleck and MC Doughboy on YouTube. And don't forget to check out our th- um, us three together. We collabed on a podcast called Field When Faded. 
the best podcast known to mankind. So make sure to go check that out, like and subscribe. Make sure to drop me comments down below. If you have something that you want me to review, if you have a movie that you want me in Fern to review, we'll do it. Just drop some comments and let us know. Um, even if you have some ideas that you want to throw at me for writing stuff, I'm an open box. Not like a whore, but I'm an open idea box. <laughs> and if you guys have ideas... I'm always open to them, so please throw them my way. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. So peace out, freaks and geeks. Stay weird.